It's Umsum time! What if we stopped bathing? No big deal. I've not taken a bath for many days. Oh, Umsum. If we stopped bathing, we may start stinking a lot. Hmm. People may start using a lot of perfume. Latecomers may start arriving very huh? early to the office. Hmm. Our water bill will huh? definitely come down. Huh? Hmm. Our pet dogs and cats may start using our shower instead. Hmm. Various insects may start living inside our hair. Hmm. People who love to take long showers will be extremely disappointed. Hmm. People may start throwing unused showers outside. Hmm. Sale of soaps and shampoo may nosedive. Hmm. Even aliens may start staying away from us. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if we could breathe underwater? Then I won't need to use my submarine anymore. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> Firstly, we could just jump in and check out the amazing coral reefs. Mm. Secondly, the way we fish could change forever. No more need of those fishing rods. Just jump in and catch your fish. But on the flip side, we will suffer from hypothermia if we start staying in water for a long time. Secondly, our eyes have not evolved to see underwater. Also, many water bodies are not clear enough for us to see far off objects. Thirdly, communication would be a huge problem. Talking underwater will not be easy, and our present electronic devices will not work efficiently underwater. Mm. Lastly, this might be very bad news for many species living underwater as ah. people will start building their homes underwater. Mm. Should we exercise before having breakfast? No, we should eat 24 seven. Oh, listen, in a study, it was found that people who exercised before having their breakfast actually burned double the amount of fat than those who exercised <laughs> after. Why? Hmm. According to experts, the logic is pretty simple. Whenever we eat food, it is converted into glucose and absorbed into the blood. Hence, when we exercise after having our breakfast, our body uses glucose obtained from the breakfast, instead of fat stored in the fat tissues to produce energy. However, when we exercise before having breakfast, as our body has fasted during sleep, there is less glucose available in the blood to produce energy. Hence, a pre-breakfast exercise forces <laughs> our body to use more of the fat stored in the fat tissues to produce energy, thus causing us to burn more fat. Hmm. Is it safe oh. to eat leftovers? Yeah, I eat my burgers even if they are a week old. <laughs> Ew. According to experts, the leftovers are safe to eat if we follow the 224 rule. Here, the first two indicates that we should refrigerate leftover food within two hours of cooking. This is because at room temperature, that is at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, there is fast growth of bacteria. Hence, refrigerating leftover food, that is dropping its temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, slows down the bacterial growth. Oh. The second two implies that we should store leftovers in a layer no more than two inches deep. This allows quick and even cooling, thus minimizing the bacterial growth. Oh. Finally, the four in the rule indicates that we should eat the refrigerated ah. leftovers within four days. This is because refrigeration just slows down the bacterial growth. It doesn't completely halt their growth. Hence, after four days, the bacteria reach a threshold concentration where they make the food bad enough to cause indigestion, food poisoning, etc. Hmm. 
Why do we shrink with age? Cause we want to become Ant-Man. No. There are various reasons behind this. Firstly, our spine consists of fluid-filled discs placed in between bones called vertebrae. But as the years pass by, these discs begin to lose fluid and degrade, causing them to flatten. As a result, the distance between the vertebrae decreases, thus decreasing our height and making us shorter. Hmm. Secondly, as we age, many of us suffer from osteoporosis. This makes our bones so weak that they develop microfractures. Now, as most of these fractures happen in the front of our vertebrae, it causes forward rounding of our back, a condition called kyphosis. This gives us a stooped oh. posture, thus making us look hmm. shorter. Lastly, as aging also causes loss of muscle mass, especially in the abdomen, it can make us slouch. Hence, this can also lead to a stooped posture, thus giving oh. us an appearance of being shorter. Hmm. Why do we forget things as we get old? Because we stop watching It's Um Sometimes. No. <laughs> there are various reasons behind this. Firstly, a region in the brain called hippocampus is involved in the formation and recollection of memories. However, as years pass by, its volume decreases, decreasing the capabilities of hippocampus and thus making us forgetful. Secondly, our brain cells or neurons have hair-like projections called dendrites. Dendrites help neurons receive signals from other neurons. However, with age, these dendrites retract or shrink. Many connections between neurons or synapses are lost. As a result, communication within the brain gets reduced. <laughs> Thus, we struggle to recall names, huh? events, huh? etc. Thirdly, studies suggest that with age, our brain oh. generates fewer chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. So, this might also play a role in declining memory. Ooh. Lastly, it is also observed that with increasing age, blood flow to our brain is reduced. As a result, the working of our neurons get affected. Thus, we forget things more frequently. Hmm. Why are some people huh? lactose intolerant? Cause they didn't lick a lot of lollipops. Nah. Huh? Lactose ah. intolerance is basically the inability to digest a sugar called lactose found in dairy products. Hmm. Usually, our small ah. intestine produces an enzyme called lactase. Lactase breaks down lactose into simple sugars called glucose and galactose, so that they can be absorbed into the bloodstream. However, people having lactose intolerance produce very little or no lactase at all. Hmm. So, what happens? Hmm. The undigested lactose passes into the large intestine where millions of bacteria break it down, leading to the production of excess water and gas, thus causing bloating, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, etc. Lactose intolerance is of two types. First is primary lactose intolerance in which individuals ah. sufficiently produce lactase during childhood, but gradually its production decreases as they age. Hmm. Then comes secondary lactose intolerance, which occurs due to some illness or injury to the small intestine, causing it to temporarily decrease the production of lactase. Hmm. Why are uh -huh. white blood cells important for us? Cause they give burgers for free. <laughs> nah. Besides red blood cells, platelets, and plasma, our blood also contains white blood cells. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are important for us as they are a very essential part of our immune system. They protect us from diseases and infections. Hmm. Let's look at the five major types of white blood cells. They are neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. Wow! Neutrophils ingest or engulf <laughs> harmful invaders and kill them. This process is called phagocytosis. Huh? Oh! Basophils release a chemical called histamine, which dilates blood vessels, increasing ah. blood flow, and thus helping transport more white blood cells to the infected ah. site. Eosinophils are involved in combating <laughs> parasites. Lymphocytes create antibodies to fight the invaders. Hmm. Last but not least, monocytes clean up dead or damaged cells and dead microorganisms. 
Hence, they are also known as garbage trucks of our immune system. Hmm.